What's going on guys? This is your boy Ambot Tuning and I am back with another exciting video today. After a whole year of working my ass off, I finally there was there was a huge I was either going to try to get an i8 BMW or a GTR or the new Supra and I felt like the i8 was going to be a luxury um, just like a luxury car so it wasn't really helping my business the GTR was another good choice but I felt like the market was already out for a long long time and the markets already you know saturated and you know there's already you know top-notch tuners for it stuff like that so it's kind of eh. and then I made the last decision last minute decision to look into the Supra and I mean like last minute like I knew the Supra was coming out but I didn't plan on thinking about getting it or even considering it until maybe like three weeks ago and I just thought like okay it's a new platform the engine's been out for a little bit but if I had so much great success in the FA20 platform for the WRX's when they were only out for four years I felt like huh if I get into a brand new platform that just came out, I might have the same success. So, without further ado, I finally got our new Supra, Ambot Tune Supra right here. Now, I did want the launch edition that came with, you know, the red caps and the red seats and the blacked out wheels, but somebody had gotten it before me and I was unfortunate not to get one but this is the 3.0 model it's not a premium model it has all the upgrades though so I'm, I'm pretty glad about that so my first impressions of this car is I love everything about it there may be one or two things that might be a flaw but I'll you know go into that in further detail soon greatest feature that I like on this car is the tail lights tail lights are super nice I just like how the back is designed overall it looks so badass I mean the whole car looks badass I love how the hood is or not the hood but the roof I love how the mirrors are the windows I love everything about this car now this car yeah of course it has these little fake vents and all that but I'm pretty sure that some company is gonna release some actual ones that actually work really really well um, the front lights look really badass with this L trim you know I think that was like the one of the main things I loved about the new GTRs because they had the lightning bolt and that was really really badass to me all right so I just had to stop the video for a second some guy like some car just like creeped up on me and then uh, the guy just wanted a picture of the car and take a video of it. So I just had to stop the video. I love the wheels. Even though they're not really my type of wheels, but they still look nice. All right, don't get me wrong. Even though it makes 330, 380 torque, this car still goes. Like you, you hit down on that pedal and the stock exhaust sounds really, really nice and it just it just feels and sounds amazing um on my way home yesterday i raced a e90 m3 with three people in the car and i got them i'll show you guys this video actually right now But despite what everybody else is saying, the car is actually a really nice car. I like it. People could say it's a, it's a it's a Z4, it's a BMW. I don't. I mean, I could care less. All right, this car is very very immaculate. It's really nice. It sounds good. I can't wait to you know put a full exhaust on it and see what it sounds like because it already sounds really badass as it as it sits stock and i guess the hood on these are it's pretty fragile um i think <laughs> the first time actually walking into the dealer to see this they were telling me about how the hood has to be shut properly and stuff like that apparently you it you know you have to do the little double latch comes up at a certain point when you're lowering this down you can't just slam it down it 
at a certain point, maybe like eight inches or so, it starts to kind of pull it down and you just have to let it go and it will just shut perfectly. Um, apparently, if you do it the wrong way, you could damage the hood and then, you know, I don't think anybody wants to do that. I love the little duck bill. I definitely love the duck bill that's on the, uh, on the trunk. The inside of this, there's not too much space. It is very, I don't know. I would say the cockpit is really, you know, decent. I like it. I mean, I fit in there just, you know, perfect. Um, passenger seat's really good also. It's just the trunk is a little bit small. The only complaint that I know of in, in being inside the car is that if you have one window down or if you have both windows down, sometimes you get that little wind tunnel, that little thumpy noise, and it kind of gets irritating. Um, I think that's the only thing that irritates me. Alrighty, so that was the second person to come and stop and check out the car. And I'm in like a secluded area, so the only way they see it is either through the bushes or going to Dick's and coming back through. But I'm, I'm in a pretty secluded area, so it's pretty crazy that I've already had two people within the, you know, last 10 minutes come by and check it out. I wanted to do this video in like a secluded area for say. Let me show you guys the interior, all right? So I know most of you guys have already seen, you know, the interior. So this is the cockpit, all right? It's actually really, really nice. The seats have like full adjustment, you know, like regular seats up and down front to back. You can adjust this to go up or down or back to front. Um, you can also adjust these side pieces that will move inwards or outwards. So it kind of like sucks you into the seat. It makes sure that you're inside the seat. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys knew this, is that I've already seen some videos of Supers racing and they're in the drive mode. So the only issue with that is that if you're in drive mode and you hit your paddle and it goes into manual mode, it only stays in manual mode for maybe like a couple of seconds and then it will go back to drive. If you wanna stay in manual mode for good, you actually have to move this over to manual mode and it won't change out of manual mode and it won't go to drive. It got kind of annoying when I didn't know that yet. When I was on my way home, I was sitting here messing with it, trying to learn. And I would switch to manual mode really quick on the pa from the paddles. And I would sit there and try to like practice like I'm doing rolls. It would just automatically shift up and go back into drive mode until I hit the paddle again. So it kind of sucked. And then I learned that if you just put this into M mode, then it won't come out of manual mode. It will literally stay in manual mode the whole time and it won't upshift on its own or anything like that. Now there is a launch mode on here. I will post that up in the next video. There is a dyno mode, there is a launch mode. And so far the plans for the car is that we're still waiting for parts to be developed. I mean the car's only been out for a week. I am just ready to dive into this platform super hard. I'm just excited because it's it's my first like actually getting a car that's brand new out on the platform. I can enjoy it, be one of the first to do certain things and it's it's definitely just going to be an amazing time um, to expand into another platform. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be posting up a launch control video and the dyno mode video. Just go and check those out too. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.